What is up everybody? Back with another pair of low heat. It's weird to say that a pair of uh, an off-white Nike collaboration is low heat, but you know, it just is what it is uh, these days. Unless it's a, a MoMA Air Force One or Jordan, it's, it's just, you know, it's a little too wild, too, a little too out there. So Therefore, I think it's very appropriate that I'm opening these. Uh, tonight is the Met Gala. By the time I post this, it might be the day after the Met Gala in New York. So I think it's very appropriate that I open this uh, this pair today, tonight. Um, you might, I won these on a draw from Feature. And no, I do not think they went through my box. I think this was crushed. You can see here a dent. And there's no straight line from a knife here. You can see it's all in the strings from this packing tape are still there. And intact for the most part so i don't think this is nefarious opening i think this was just uh improperly stored and packaged uh and shipped so nothing to worry about here either way it still came uh i didn't sign up for too many raffles for these because i knew these weren't going to be that popular i had a feeling and i just i just knew these would be sitting so after you watch this video if you're interested in a pair these are available at various retailers um for retail so um, you, if you want to risk it you might even you know wait a month see if these uh, go on sale uh that's your prerogative of course uh oh yep see big dent right there in the middle so these yes were something heavy or these were stacked and that's why that packing tape was um that way uh i think it's fine no reason to throw a ton of shade at feature i like the shop uh feature and like it's it's fine it's just the box like this is if this was like a pair of louis vuitton air force ones and the box was you know dented then maybe we'd have an issue but um it's just whatever uh yeah anyways back to what i was saying i knew these were gonna sit you can risk it if you would like and try to get these on sale i think it is in the realm of possibility or even if they sell out these might dip below retail on the aftermarket but it has to dip pretty hard because once it hits the aftermarket, no matter where you're buying, uh, people are taxing you on the shipping, literal tax, fees, etc. So it's got to drop well below retail for it to actually turn out in the end to below retail. So as you see, you got the brick, bricked out box. This was the same on the, what are we talking about here? We're talking about the Air Force One Mid Special Projects. And LTHR, hmm, I do not know what that stands for. I tried to do as much research as I could beforehand. Um, someone in the comments shouted out to me. In These are in pine green and white. These are the pine green versions. He already, or they already released um, mids in black and white. And they were in that nylon texture material uh, this this these were also also like posthumously released i have the white ones the black ones are very affordable you can get those for retail some places or under retail uh if i had all the money and space in the world as i say many times in my videos i would definitely have the black pair as well i'd have uh you know a, a lot of the the nike off-white collection but just space and money are real issues uh, for your boy. I'm not a rich sneaker influencer. Help me uh, help you. I do unboxing videos. Please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing. It makes me feel good. I would appreciate it. Uh, like the video if you like the video. Comment. You know, do all the things. Follow me on Instagram, lowheat underscore fancy pants. We appreciate that too. Follow me on Instagram. Um, don't have much followers there. I have actually more subscribers on YouTube than followers on Instagram, which is kind of wild. Uh, but yeah. All right. Back to these. Uh, got these in 11 and a half. I know most of the time you go half size down in Air Forces, but I feel like that's lows. Here you got to get your my big old foot through the ankle uh, collar at the top. So I go true to size. Actually, these I went half size up, actually. So we'll see how it turns out going half, uh, true to size here. Same box. It's been a year and a half since Virgil has passed away. And they've done uh, the, the Terraforma uh, Big Boots. Check out that unboxing video. Um, 
they've done these and a handful. I don't know. We'll talk more about that later. We've, we've, I've stalled enough. Talk more about like potential upcoming releases uh, once we get into these. So this similar box, you got the off-white uh, branding there at the top of the box, top of the lid. The Swimming Man logo. Nike swoosh. Uh, all right. Off-white paper, branded paper on the inside. Let's take a look. These are now leather, not that nylon material. Let's see how they... See how they look. Ooh. Very dope. Very dope. Right away. And that's a lot of green. Right away. Initial impressions like some quality uh leather on the upper. Uh looks like a really nice thick cut of leather. Pretty soft. Um, this ain't your your general release dunk leather that uh this is like this is a night almost like a boot right that's what this is like and that pine green color the description on off-white's website is you know uh it's kind of a tribute to the community that saved the iconic air force one kind of throwback colorway i know virgil in seeing some stuff that he posted back you know a couple years ago at this point was a fan of like the pine green color. I know he went on a search in Tokyo or online for some like pine green dunk highs and was able to obtain them. So I know he he was partial, I think, to this colorway. You got the over white overlaces, which has become an aesthetic. He's done this on both his like track shoes and his dunks, his various dunk lows that he's done. And this kind of overlacing, uh, both aesthetically, you know, interesting, but also like I feel like a, a similar to some outdoor ACG type vibes. You, the most obvious thing I think most people notice are the spikes. On all my videos, I get asked about these. How do they feel? To be honest, I haven't worn a lot of the shoes with the spikes, but I just, I mean, I, I already know like this stuff's going to wear down. It'll feel like... People ask, does it feel weird? I mean, it's it's going to feel a little bit cushiony, if anything, because this is going to act like cushion. And the more you wear them on cement, especially, they're going to wear down pretty quickly. And then um, eventually they'll have the square raised areas and this these raised areas along the outside. But if you keep wearing them, that's going to wear down. So, you know, it almost provides a little bit of like cushioning, if anything. Really, uh... Really interesting. You have exposed air uh, there, just like on the other Air Force One mids. Oh, what's interesting is if you look at like his icons book, the Virgil Abloh Nike icons book, like he used a lot of references to the original ads for shoes. So when he was coming up with the Air Force One redesign, you know, his collaboration with that, you know, he looked at old Air Force One ads and the original Air Force One was a high similar to this uh, and in, in a lot of the ads and you know they made a low shortly after but it originally was a high meant to be a basketball shoe and so but they didn't end up making a mid or high initially they made you know all the various versions of the low so this is kind of throwback to the original Air Force One which was an 80s basketball, early 80s basketball shoe. It was kind of the advancement of the Blazer. The Blazer was the 70s basketball shoe, Nike's initial basketball shoe, uh, named for you know, the Portland Trail, Trail Blazers that were up in the area. You got this side is up, kind of obvious packaging branding there that Off White's known to do, kind of calling out the function of the object in text. So yeah, um, the Blazer was like the 70s uh, version and the Air Force One had an air unit. It was the update of for Nike's basketball shoe until they came out with the Dunk and the Jordan and etc. etc. Uh, so you got the strap around the top, which is uh, common for a mid or high Nike Air branding on the tail. You have embroidered off, off white logo there, kind of like graffiti, similar to the Air. That's the 
the Virgil off-white graffiti air logo that they've used on some of their other clothing that came out with the Terraforma. You have the, swoosh, the stitch, zigzag stitch swoosh, signature orange label right there that uh, Off-White's come to know. You have uh, the overlace lace lock right there. Uh, the trademark Beaverton, Oregon uh, address in type right there. And yeah, those are the major things. Signature zip tie, of course, and shoelaces stamped on the ends of the shoelaces. I don't see an extra pair of laces that I can see. I'm going to try to try these on without it being too awkward with this camera straight between my legs. But we'll, we'll try it for science. If need be, I'll edit it around it. Uh, I really don't want to have to. But I do it for you guys. This is why I implore you to please subscribe. Because I do all this work for you guys. Here's the inside of the insole. I don't know if you can see. Got the swimmer hand logo right there. Let's see if I can pull this out. Now on the inside, underside of the terraformers, there was a little Easter egg with Virgil was here. I want to see if it's on the inside and anything on the inside of this one. No, this one's this one's glued. Nothing on the on the underside of that. Just a little bit of little bit of glue. Put that back down. All right. Okay. Let's clear space. Clear space. I do. I'm gonna give these a rating here eventually, but I do. I feel like these are slightly. I mean, it's a bright green. I do feel like these are slightly more wearable in a variety of situations than uh, the white nylon or black nylon, but the color is brighter. But I feel like a leather upper. Uh, it's kind of a classic shoe. Like you can. I don't know. I feel like you could wear this uh, to more occasions. And, you know, I know this might not be everyone's cup of tea. It's a little wild, a little out there. But, you know, I encourage you on the night of the Met Gala, we're unboxing an a off-white Virgil shoe here, you know, to step outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Uh, there's a time and a place for a classic, the classic white blazer with a black swoosh, the 77 vintage one. There's a time and a place for a white on white Air Force One low. Um, but you know, those people, you know, that might impress in small towns, uh, maybe your smaller cities, large towns. Uh, you know, you show up to the function looking uh, sharp with a nice pair of denim, your blazers or Air Force Ones and crisp t-shirt hoodie you know you know you might get a little few looks from whoever you want to get looks from but you know when you're in a larger city you know you show up to a function you need to stand you know you need to keep up you need to stand out if you want to be noticed no um just regular degular nikes are gonna you know draw any attention and that's what all of us social media starved attention hungry um 2023 slaves to the gram are seeking and you know you gotta get us gotta, gotta wear something a little out there once in a while it doesn't hurt i always got like pointed out in high school for in, in middle school wearing like you know flashy things flashy shoes etc um you know didn't kill me it was okay like I don't remember any other of my like peers or friends for wearing flashy clothes. And you know, I think people, you know, look at this. I do this for a hobby now. They, their, their, everyone's style, um, looking back was quite unremarkable in the school that I grew up in, in my class. Maybe if I sat here hard enough and thought I could, but that's going to bore you. For the most part, I think the point I'm trying to make is no one was memorable for their fashion choices. Um, you know, if you showed up to school wearing something like this, you know, friends might think like, oh, what are you wearing? What are those? But like, you know what? You only live once. You only live once. I think it's fine to 
show up in some wild clothes, wild shoes. Like, it's fun. Conversation pieces, you know? We, we're always, most humans want to be noticed. Like, damn, these are going <laughs> to, these are, people are going to notice these. I don't know quite what to do with these overlaces yet. Okay, it's 11 and a half is, I do feel like these fit like, it was tough as you could see me getting my foot into here. Once it's in, there's plenty of space. I do feel like I could have gone a half size down. I could have gone an 11. So this is typical Air Force One sizing in my opinion. You just gotta really undo the top layer to get your foot in. Um, I think with these, I'm just gonna tuck these in to the, the ankle probably. I'll, I'll do that better. You know, I, if I was wearing these out, if I was stepping out in these, I would hide this, this better. I'm just doing this for the video. But um, you could also rock it with a strap unstrapped. I don't like doing that. I like everything to be kind of aerodynamic and buttoned up. So, but yeah, uh, so for sizing, I would go half size down. It's typical Air Force One sizing, uh, in my opinion. I think these are great. So like, what, but you might, you might ask me like, where are you, where are you going to wear these two? Where are you going to wear these two? These are a little wild for me. Where would I wear these? You know, I won't show up, uh, unless you're a creative director. Yeah. You might not show up to work to every day in these, um, unless you're like a graphic designer, maybe these aren't an everyday wear, but any sort of party, uh, I'm pulling up in these, any sort of cool bar weekend, Friday night, any sort of like, you know, festival, um, uh, whatever music event, like, I think this is a great pair to rock. Uh, I don't know. Maybe your, maybe your small town has a fashion show, you know, you pull up in these. Uh, so any sort of, I, I think, I think of these as an event shoe, a going out shoe, a sneaker. And like I said, because it's like got an all leather upper, uh, it is a sneaker for sure, but I feel like it dresses like a boot, you know? Uh, I actually don't, I feel like jeans are the wrong move of this. I would wear, you know, a pair of slacks, um, you know, any sort of pair of slacks, black pants, uh, corduroys, uh, I don't know, even some like millet, you know, camo cargos, uh, actually anything but jeans would be my move for these since these are kind of like a little bit more of a, a fashion piece. So that's that's how I'd style them personally. Wide leg stuff's really in right now. I'm kind of old, you know, so I don't have my my wardrobe isn't filled with wide leg uh, clothes, structured clothes, because you know I just I can't keep up with the the fashion trends, so I try to keep it pretty basic, pretty timeless. But like I think these would go great with the current trend of like wide leg, wide leg pants. Uh, on this side, I didn't point that out. You have the the other off white trademark logo uh the candelabra on the left hand side so a little different embroidery there i don't know i really like them i think this is like a dope um pair like again like i said sometimes like i have an uh, event coming up here in in la and it's like well what do you wear to like show out at this i don't know party where there's industry people like you can go show up in something like this, what I'm wearing. Super clean. Dunks are stylish. Dunks are in. This is a premium dunk. But, you know, I almost feel like this isn't stepping it up enough. So, like, I could wear my Doc Martens, like my Chelsea boot, or I could wear something like this. Like, I think this is the perfect option for showing up to some, like, a fancier event. This this is my option. I'm not pulling up and just... I love a Lost and Found... I love my Lost and Found Chicago ones, you know? It's, there's a great shoe I can wear to 90% of the things, but there's some things where I feel like this would be the better call. So, um, I think oh, now the, the, the key question is like, are they going to keep releasing off-white Nike and Jordan collaborations? I think the answer is, you know, this is came out a year and a half. This was, uh, after he passed, this was, I think, on the description, supposed to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Air Force One. Um, we're a little past that now into 2023. So I think these were supposed to maybe be on the docket for end of year last year and they slipped to this year. But, uh, 
I think it's safe to say we'll see, a, depending on their Nike's uh, relationship with, with Off-White, the brand, and Virgil's estate and his wife, I think we'll see some, some things here and there. Maybe once a year uh, collaboration. Are we going to get those canary yellow Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 1s? I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's impossible, but uh, are we going to get the uh, black and red cement uh, Air Jordan 4s, off-white Jordan 4s, that there's only a handful of pairs of out there? Who knows, but I do think the relationship will continue. Uh, but yeah, I like these. Let's give these a rating. These aren't like my favorite favorite, but I do like them. I do like them, and I I really like the the overlace breaking up the all green upper, going with the zip tie and the swoosh. I really like that. Uh, the extended sole kind of gives this a nice. I like the shape of this, the silhouette here, this extended sole boot. Uh, kind of gives it a fashiony combat boot look and vibe to it. Kind of extent this widened platform. Um, let's see here. I don't think these get an eight in my mind because, like, I am Virgil Abloh biased, uh, very strongly Virgil Abloh biased. But personally, I think we'll go. I think I give these a seven point five out of ten. I like them. I like them, but they don't quite get into the eight, nine, or ten range for me. Uh, I'm going to be happy to put these on foot at an upcoming event. So let me know what you think. I know this could be like a, you know, I don't, wouldn't say a polarizing shoe. That's a little too strong. But one that, uh, a sneaker that not everyone might like. Um, so I get it. But love to hear your guys' opinions. And you should be able to cop these if you want them. And uh, yeah, more videos etc coming up soon appreciate all you who watched especially all you who watched up until this point in the video 22 minutes in you're goaded i really do appreciate it please subscribe check my other content out and i'll catch you on the next video